Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to another art journal layout. Today I'll play in my uh, Dilutions art journal and one of the most asked questions that I get all the time is um, if I have a plan in my mind. Well, for example, in this case, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I know that I want to use these dies as my focal points. I want to incorporate those wreaths and one of the birds somehow in my uh, page today. Probably this little guy here. And uh, since I have a wreath, I may bring in another C6 die that I have from years back, which is the funky flowers, and I will probably use some of those in my layout. And this is as far as I go when it comes to planning a page. I just know which is going to be my focal point. So I'm going to play with my Distress Oxide sprays for the background. I lately grab those uh, really often and I'm starting first by priming my pages with water. I like to spray water all over the place before I go on with the colors because I find that it helps them blend better. The colors that I'm playing with today are picked raspberry and wild honey. They combine beautifully together. When you use those, you will have a happy background with no mud at all. You can let your background air dry or just use your heat can. Here I'm using a heat can, but this has two settings. One is for drying, the other one is for embossing powder. So I'm not burning the pages at all. A great thing about the Dilutions uh, Art Journal is that uh, no matter how much uh, spray or water you add on the pages, they do not warp. You see they are nicely flat there and this is the reason why I choose to work on this art journal. Now I'm going to show you something that doesn't work. So here I'm playing with this trellis stencil by Altenew and I'm spraying water all over. However, this is not going to react and create the cost uh, effect that I'm going for. And the reason why this is not going to work and react with uh, the ink is because I already sprayed the page with water in the beginning, so the reaction has already happened there. I still get some lifting, just a little bit here and there, and a little bit of ghosting. So since I want to have that uh, visual texture there, I'm going to go with my sprays on top of the stencil and instead of having a ghosting effect, I'm going to add spray and get that lovely trellis design. Now, I'm not introducing any new colors of sprays, I'm working with the two sprays that I did work with for the background. This way, although I add some uh, visual interest, I still keep that background quite subtle. Another one of my go-to techniques when it comes to backgrounds is adding some stamping. In this case I'm using a very old text stamp. This is really versatile and you can work uh, with it in pretty much any background. I am working with Archival Link and the color is Orange Blossom. This is slightly darker so you can still see it but it's not in your face which would be the case if I was using Black Archival Link. And of course I have to add some splashes. This time I'm working with a spray by Altenew. This is a pure white spray. It makes splashes super easy. They are not going to look as they look uh, super bright and white at the moment. They will react a little bit with the inks underneath. So they will end up slightly dull. So I'm going to leave this aside to dry and I will start working on the focal points. This die set is called Funky Wreaths. It gives you a wreath made out of branches and another one made out of leaves and you will get tiny little uh, branches and leaves that you can use separately. You can uh, cut them out from white cardstock and then use your coloring mediums to color them in, your sprays, your blending tools, whatever you like. I decided to go simply with uh, colored cardstock and this is a pad by Tim Holtz so I'm choosing three different colors a lighter green, a darker green and for the branch wreath I'm going to use black. This is the Feathered Friends die set and there are three layers of dies that you can add to create one of those birdies. So since I'm going to do the die cutting I'm going to choose cardstock for this one as well. I decided to go with a smaller little fellow there just because I find him super cute. And this is where I decided that I want my party to be blue. So I'm going to pick three different shades of blue from my pad and then cut them out. Now the way I choose colors really depends on the focal point or on the background. And since in this background I do have pinks and yellows and oranges, I needed to work with a color that was going to stand out. That's why I went with the blues. 
So you see here I have everything cut out and um, I am going to do some uh, blending all around the edges. If you follow my channel you already know that I like to have darker edges. I think that they frame nicely my projects, they make them look more finished and I always like that uh, vintage vibe that uh, vintage photo adds on my projects. That's why I cannot stay away from it. I'm going to ink up all the edges with vintage photo and then I will add just a touch of black suit. You will see that by adding that frame all around it really brings the eye at the center and it makes the colors look even brighter. Another one of my tricks to bring together different elements is to add a touch of the same color on all the different elements. So here I'm adding a little bit of vintage photo on the edges of all those cutouts, just a touch of it on the wreaths. It's a really simple step but it makes a huge difference all those Different elements are going to come together just because they have a touch of the same color on top of them. I'm following the image on the packaging to put my little bird together and I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe glue for that. And if you notice the colors of cardstock that I have, I'm going from darker at the background all the way to lighter color for the wing. And as I said before, I don't have a plan on my mind on where I'm going to put everything. So here I'm just playing around and this is where I decided that I need something at the back of this wreath. So for that I'm going to bring in one of my mixed media cardstock. This is off-white and it's exactly the same color as the pages on this Dilusions uh, pay, uh, book. I am going to stamp that with a text stamp that I have. And this is actually from the Professor stamp set. I've been using that in the previous page. I just clean up all the stamps by just using a paper towel, that's enough for me. And now I am going to stick this on top, so by just holding all those different wreaths there, I'm just going to go all around it and cut it out. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's not going to show. And of course I inked up the edges of this piece with my vintage photo so it has the same look and feel as the rest of the elements. So here with my Nouveau Deluxe glue I'm going to stick all those wreaths one on top of the other. Again the black goes at the back then I'm going with a darker shade of green and then on top the lighter shade. Finally to complete my focal point I'm going to stick down the bird and if you want you can add even more elements. For example you can add little flowers all around the wreath. You can even add little eggs for your bird. It's really up to you how much you want to embellish it. And finally my little element is going to go on top of my page. I absolutely love the contrast of the blue bird against that background. I think it really pops. And using the exact same method I created another one of those wreaths. Now since this is a two page spread I want to bring the same element somehow on the other page. That's why I'm going to use this wreath so that I have a repeated element on both of the pages. Repeating the same elements or colors to both the pages is going to make your page look complete and uh, they are going to come together easier. And since 3 is a really pleasing number when it comes to art, I created a visual triangle with my wreath. Of course you don't have to chop them out, if you want you can stick them on the page and add another element like I have the birdie for the first one. I like to keep things simple and not overwhelm the pages with elements since uh, I then kind of lose which is the focal point. That's why I like to keep things simple. Now all I have to do is to add my motivational quote and uh, for that I'm going to stamp letter by letter. If you love your handwriting then you can just go ahead and write whatever you like. I went with one of my favorite alphabet stamps. This is the Sophisticated Script Stamp Set by Concord and Ninth. And uh, I wrote down, do more of what makes you happy. I'm using my white gel pen to add a touch of highlight on the letters, mainly on the downstrokes, which are thicker. And just like I always do, I'm going to add some highlights here and there on my elements. So here I'm adding some highlights on the branches, on the little bird, just because I like the look and I cannot help myself when I have the white gel pen on my hand. 
I am stamping the date and usually when I do that, it's the last step and it means that my page is uh, complete. However, this is where I remembered that I did brought out the flower, the funky flowers die set, to add some flowers here and there. I don't want to overwhelm the wreaths as I like the page as it is at the moment. However, I want to bring that blue on the other page. That's why I die cut some uh, different flowers that I can layer one on top of the other using the exact same blue colors that I used for the bird. I'm going to layer them and stick them on both those wreaths and this way I have a visual triangle with the same element, just not the focal point, not the bird repeated everywhere. I think it brings those two different pages together better and this is going to be my last step. Here are some close-up photos on the project that I made for today. Just like always, you will find links on everything I used down below in the description area. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. Don't forget to like the video and also leave me a comment, I really love reading them. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me today and I'll see you all next time.